This evening is about being good stewards of your sons and setting them up for success in an increasingly challenging world. One thing is for sure is that we all need to leave tonight with a better understanding of the risks and consequences of drug use. Also, we need to understand that alcohol and drugs, uh, drug use are not a part of our school culture, but they do exist within our school climate. And students are more in that climate that is not condoned by the school. And so you should know that there are consequences associated with that. To the students, remember that your gift of this education is, well, it is a gift that you broke the education of the parents of year, and you have a responsibility to be a good steward of that education and of your classmates to be a good Brophy brother. To the parents tonight, we're all here to make sure that we're, we are the adults and we help these young men make great decisions, and we know they can't always make great decisions based on their brain development, and we'll learn more about that this evening. I want to introduce Eric Tillion. I'm very proud of having him here. Um, he's our third speaker in a series of speakers this week, and we have a lot of seniors that have not used drugs and alcohol in the time of Brophy. But Eric stands in front of me tonight to tell you how he did it and what the difference it's made in his life. And so, without further ado, let's get to our first speaker, Mr. Eric Tillion, class of I've never smoked weed, I've never drinking beer, I've never done any of that. 
So now when I go to parties, I never drink and I never smoke. Um, I always seem to have an initial temptation of, you know, oh, maybe I do want that. But, you know, luckily the decisions that I make, you know, you know, in that moment, you know, they're they're gonna outweigh that that fun that I that I have in that moment. Um, you know, because I'm not gonna be the one waking up with a headache in the morning and you know, I'm not gonna be the one with uh, liver problems down the road. Uh, so all I this the point I'm trying to tell you is that find out the person who you wanna be. Um, not only how you want others to perceive you, but how you want to perceive yourself. Um, for me, a role model was was uh, very helpful. You know, I could look at my uncle and say, you know, that's 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 who I want to be when I you know when I grow up. Um, you know, if you say, well, yeah, I don't really have anybody like that in my family that I can look up to. You know, there's plenty of people at the school who can talk to you and be that role model for you. So, uh, thank you. I think that's great that 